Learning tech provider Fuse last month announced the acquisition of PowerGuides, a performance support technology provider, and a new partnership with Pure Insights, which has assets in AI and intelligent search. Fuse wants to put company knowledge into workers' workflows. It wants to take 80% of learning content out of training courses and make it available at the point of need. To explore knowledge in the workflow and how Fuse is going about this, Fuse Chairman Steve Deneen is here. Steve, a very warm welcome back to Learning News. Good to have you on the program. We're going to talk about company knowledge and how, potentially with the help of AI and intelligent search, we may now be able to surface knowledge that's usually locked away or lost to the past. Describe how you see the current problem with all of our learning content and what you mean by accessing company knowledge. Yeah, I guess to some degree, it's about answering that question that I remember HP famously asked a number of years ago, you know, which was, uh, if only HP knew what HP knew. Um, so I, I think that's a great question, right? And obviously with someone like HP, I think they're still asking that question, right? And I think many questions ask are, are. So in essence, we have all this amazing knowledge that sits in the heads of these amazing people. And also it's digitized in some places, you know, elsewhere. But the ability for someone to get access to that to improve on what they do right there in the moment is hard. Uh, and if you look at our consumer lives, that, that's that's pretty much solved. I mean, we just had the Olympics. Uh, um, you know, one of the the great stories I thought was the skateboarding champion, the the thirteen year old you know young young girl uh, who got a bronze medal. Um, and when she said, "How did she learn?" It was all from YouTube videos. She learned all her tricks, all her stuff from YouTube videos. I mean, that's that's insane, right? But it, but what's happened is you've got the best skateboarders in the world that are updating their tips and their tricks and how they're doing it, and she's finding it, applying it, going back, you know, finding it, maybe even having conversations with that person and say, "How do you do this?" and "How do you do that?" But um, access to knowledge has allowed her to become an Olympia champion, and and I think that's that's if we can now take that to our corporate world. The technologies now exist to allow us to do that. So for us, accessing the corporate brain is probably three stages. The first stage is the creation of the corporate brain, of the digital brain. So how do we, and this has been a journey for us in a number of stages. So one is less about technology, more about how do you get that knowledge out of people's heads in a format like that YouTube video, that short, succinct, that's engaging. That obviously is what we did with Few School, where we've got a thousand videos and a, you know, 10 million kids loving that style of content every day. So the first is, actually more about modern content production processes. The second piece then is about once you're now creating that content in a way that is uh, search and AI friendly, and be honest, some of the traditional standards of e-learning aren't, right? So if you take a traditional e-learning uh, or, or knowledge and put it into a school course, it's not really um, set up to use all the great AI technologies today. But if you, if you surface that in more traditional media, in videos and files and articles and so forth, then there's amazing stuff that we can now do by utilizing all the great AI technologies that are out there. And what it means is we can use, do exactly the same stuff now that Google and Amazon and Microsoft are doing, because actually we can use their technology and add our own technology on top to solve this learning problem. So, so the first part, what the technology is doing, as well as the service of the company, is to allow organizations to create the content in a new way, and for us to do the same things that Google does on the public web for the actual corporate network. For that's both for content on Fuse, but also content connected to Fuse, whether that's LinkedIn or SharePoint or otherwise, but to index that content and to get it ready for that next part and that friendly search, that friendly surfacing. You've joined up with Pure Insights, which is a developer of intelligent search technology to help you with this. So. Steve, what is intelligent search and, and what does it, op does it offer to Fuse and how's it going to work for you? Yeah, and I think for us, look, we, we had a vision for this for a while. And to be fair, we tried doing it ourselves actually with our own engineers and, and we tried. But we also recognize that just having a vision and even having money doesn't mean you can actually you know, execute upon the end goal. Um, so we went out there and we tried to find the best company we could, right, that, that could help us with this. Went to Amazon, went to Google, and eventually actually found a company that Accenture had bought, which was 200 dedicated search engineers called Search Technologies uh, that had been spent the last 20, 30 years understanding search and advising the biggest companies in the world and being actually Accenture's enterprise um, search product. Um, uh, but at the same point, they maybe had lifted journey with Accenture, wanted to do something a bit more entrepreneurial again, uh, met with us, and, and we agreed together that they would they then, then left and set, a start, you know, set up the new, the new startup, and we pioneered together to create, in essence, bring together a knowledge management search company that understands that brilliantly, and the founders of that company with the company that understands learning and tacit knowledge, which is us. So joining those two skill sets together has been an amazing journey. 
Um, and so now, you know, we didn't know all the amazing AI technologies that were available to, 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 to license and to build and to create to go do this. So now we've created a corporate brain. The next part towards it is, well, obviously the corporate brain is a continuous machine learning um, algorithm that's continuously scanning, understanding, indexing, and looking at content saying, I know this content is about these skills, this knowledge from this author, from these tags, how long it is. We've got all this information now about every piece of content uh, inside there, and that's stored in this super index, which is like the corporate brain. The next piece towards it is the, the front end search. So this is using a variety of technologies that the first version is launched next month, but then we're going to add more technologies o- over this year to get us to a place by the end of the year where you're able to actually ask questions. And we're actually using some of Google's AI and others, but we're able to ask questions of that content. So we're able to search LinkedIn content smarter than LinkedIn does, search Udemy content smarter than they do, search your SharePoint side and everything smarter than they do in the same language we use um, on, on Google and Alexa and Siri. So natural language, which understands the whole, under, you know, so uses, I guess to some degree, we're standing on the shoulder of these giants, right, who are um, spent... Um, God knows how many millions or hundreds of millions understanding English language, building these amazing kind of AI neural networks to understand the syntax of language. So when you're saying something, it understands exactly what you mean by that and therefore is able to make the right search because it understands the context of what you mean to bring back the right and relevant information. Thank you. And just a bit more on that. I mean, it is about the right search, isn't it? I mean, in the moment with search, you go to search and you get too much. Yeah, <laughs> You can't possibly pick what you need. So is intelligent search going to be intelligent enough to deliver actually? Yes, intelligent in two, three ways, right? So again, if we think about where our industry is a little bit, right, most search is trying to search for courses. That's it, right? That's not how we learn most of the time. I mean, if you did an updated version of 70, 20, 10 and ask a whole bunch of thousands of people how they learn, right? You'd find it's like Sky the Skateboarder, uh, uh, cool name, by the way, Sky the Skateboarder. It is like her, right? That That is, I'm learning in the moment. I'm learning from other people. I'm learning in it in digitally. I'm learning a whole bunch of information in, in a new way. So um, in, in terms of intelligent search, it's First of all, understanding that learning is in three buckets, right? So your macro pieces, I need a course or an experience. So I'm going to change jobs or it's something major. I want to understand the bit. I want to understand the, the tip or the trick. I want to get back to that tip or trick or that thing inside the work I need to do. So the micro bit, we can call it, and the video or the file, if you like. And then down to the nano level, which is I just want to know who is Gandhi. Give me two lines on this. Or do I, I'm James Bond. I'm in the moment. I've got seven seconds left. Do I cut the red wire or blue wire? I don't need a course on thermodynamics. Haven't got time for that. I don't even need a three minute video. I just got seven seconds left. I've got to save the world. Is it red or blue, right? So just tell me, scan what, scan the environment, scan and understand what I'm doing. Have a look at that thing and tell me red or blue towards it and let me scan it. So we now think we can beat James Bond and do it in 008 seconds rather than 007 seconds. So the first bit is understand those three bits. And each of those three bits is then going to understand Based upon your language, if you're searching, I want to learn new presentation skills. How do I bring back that course? Or what's the best um, what's the best piece of content? How do I improve my, or how do I fix this problem now? How do I learn about Google Slides animations or transitions, right? Teach me how to do a transition, just that bit. Not the course, just that bit. And then to the final bit is maybe the answer exists as a line inside a file or, a, or, or 10 seconds inside a video. So sometimes I want to get to that bit. Intelligent search is going to work out what do you mean? What do you want from that? Is it the macro, the micro, the nano? Understand that bit and then extracts and finds you that relevant thing that's contextual to you, to your world and to that moment. Thank you. Now, next, you've acquired Power Guides, um, a predictive performance support tech provider. Explain more about Power Guides and what this acquisition and this technology brings to Fuse. So Power Guides, which we've now renamed to Fuse Flow. So in essence, this is going a step further than what we talked about. So this is actually predicting the search. You don't have to search. It's like Amazon delivering you what you want before you've actually gone to Amazon, right? So uh, um, and and the way so this is a, a browser extension uh, that comes into Fuse. That's it's actually live already in some of our clients. So it's in beta testing. It's been rolled out inside one of our major clients already. So it's it's amazing in terms of what happens, right? So now what happens is because we've got this corporate brain, we've digitized all of this great knowledge that you've got inside your organizations and connected to this to the organization. And we've now, you have an intelligent search capability. So when you press the button inside it, it understands all that. 
It understands who you are, understands your all the information we understand from your HR system, so your preferred language, what um, content you can see and can't see based upon your role, potentially your skills, um, your areas of interest, all those type of things. And it's also understanding what your activity task you're currently on. So if you're inside Salesforce on the opportunities page, look at this particular client in this stage of the sales process, it understands all of that. So it then takes all that information and then feeds that and talks to the corporate brain to say, hey, look, I'm doing all these things right now. And this is who I am. What do you recommend that can help me with this thing right now? And it's going to come back and that may be top down knowledge. It may be peer to peer knowledge coming up, but it's basically like a matching server, a dating service between you and what you're doing in that moment and, and everything the organization knows. So it's not just about if only HP knew what HP knew, right? That's great. But actually, if I can now literally have a, yeah, that coach on your, on, your, on your virtual digital world, so as you're traveling digitally through these different places, at click of a button, it understands exactly who you are. And the magic, the bit I, I love about this, right, was because I tried, we, we, I saw technology like this 10 years ago. The problem with the technology 10 years ago, and I think still today, it, and this I think is the problem with all these types of technologies, is the cost to get the content ready. Right. So you've got to create your content in a special format in a special way. This gets rid of all of that. Literally, I can if I've, I can press a button on Fuse, record a video or any other software, I can write an article, put it into Fuse. And in terms of it, the system automatically tags it and this intelligent front end part is going to match it towards it. So it gets rid of all of that, that complexity and it allows industrialization of performance support. What is going to be the sort of the, the, the development of this interfuse and, and the integration of this interfuse, and, and when will customers get it? Both the fuse flow and the and the search. Intelligent search comes into Pink Fuse this week into our internal version of Fuse, which is our customer facing site for them to get an early version of that. We're probably about four or five weeks away then from rolling it out to to our clients. It's going to go through iterations, right? So the first part is it the all the background intelligence and the new front end. And then the questions answers capability, that nano level, that's coming out a few months later, um, which is pretty exciting. Fuseflow, like I said, is actually live out now to a few of our clients into beta. But again, that's probably available like six, eight weeks away from going, you know, across all of our all of our clients outside there. You know, you mentioned the 80% moving the 80% of courseware into performance support. I think this is what happen this is what this allows us to do and i think it's such a big concept right that it's going to take a little bit of a time for people our clients and our prospects and our customers to feel it once you get it then i think it's going to be wow so i, I don't need to stuff the brain and hope you remember it all more i really can place all of that knowledge and that learning close to them so it opens up a whole new question i, I think it really opens up that question now says because the technology has caught up with the vision of what we wanted as an industry and it is fully integrated into one product then what do I no longer formally train and what do I only make it available informal? I think that that is going to be huge for us as industry over the next year. Learning leaders are placing this right at the top of their, well, actually second out of the all the list of things that are on their minds at the moment. This is really important to them. It's been important, really increasing importance for a while. It's only taken us 10 years, right? It's a, um, this was a vision literally 10 years. And I think when I started Fuse, we, we had the vision of performance support and social learning. And it was hard to do both. And obviously, we evolved Fuse. We ch I chose then Fuse to be the social learning product, which evolved into now the full platform. So it's literally taken us you know, 10 years now to add this final piece of the jigsaw, uh, integrate it into what we do. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's um, a really, truly exciting moment. I'm just going to be amazed, I think, to see what our clients do. I know we're going to be learning with our clients, and they're going to be teaching us and doing things with the technology that we haven't even thought about. Thank you very much. Well, I really look forward to following your journey with this. It's a subject very close to my heart. I've worked in performance support 15, 20 years ago. I really look forward to seeing how Fuse develops with this. And thank you so much for taking the time to tell Learning News all about it. You're welcome, buddy.